If you know all these people, then you should also know that they all started their careers as product managers and then eventually became CEOs of their respective companies. And as the number of startups grow and companies rush to build the next big tech product, the demand for product managers is only going to go up. In this video, I want to share how you can break into product management like I did and set you up for success. Let's dive in. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's great to see you after two weeks. I was on vacation visiting family, but it's good to be back. In case you're new here, my name is Rahil. I'm an entrepreneur and a product leader currently living and working in Dubai. So product management has become this sort of elite discipline in the world of technology. It's and the ultimate position where you're in the center of engineering, design, and business, and you get to make decisions to launch successful products. PM is also often seen as a stepping stone for becoming an executive within the company because of the unique skill set and the exposure that the position gives you. So now the question is, how do I break into product management? Well, to answer that question, we have to first understand what a PM does. Okay, so now imagine a product. It could be a mobile application or a physical product. The PM's responsibility is to make sure that the product actually gets built, but also it is the right product required for the customers. So the PM starts off by understanding the customer needs. He goes out interviewing customers, doing market research, and understanding what the user needs and wants are and how a new product is going to solve their problems. Once the PM has an idea of consumer needs, he identifies the vision for the product, how it should look, how it should behave, and what will be the strategy to actually build out that product. Then. The PM builds a strategy on how to build the product, which, which is deciding what features are important, which features are relevant, which features to build and not to build, and why to build them. And then the PM works with a group of stakeholders, engineers, and designers to actually build out the product. And to make sure that every stakeholder that is building the product understands why they're building each feature and why it is important. And after the product actually gets built, it's the PM's responsibility to assure quality because everything that needs to be built needs to be of high quality. Then comes a lot of testing and the PM is responsible for making sure that testing is extremely successful. Once they're done with the testing part, the PM then sits down plans for launch and how to get users using the product. This involves a lot of conversations with marketing, understanding the pricing, understanding the go-to-market strategy. And once the product is out there, then it's the responsibility of the product manager to get feedback from the customers, to understand how the product is faring in the market, whether there are improvements to be made, whether there are new features to be added. And this consistent iteration ensures that the product consistently improves. And finally, throughout this entire process, it's the job of the product manager to communicate with the business stakeholders, the executives, to make sure that everything goes to plan. And if there is any crisis, it's the job of the product manager to resolve all those issues. In short, you can think of a product manager as a director and the, and the product is the star in the play. It's the product manager's responsibility to ensure that the product not only shines um, on the stage, but also makes the audience extremely happy. So now that we know what a PM does, let's try to understand what are the skills that you require to become a successful product manager. There are basically two kinds of skills, hard skills and soft skills. Let's dive into hard skills first. Number one, uh, product lifecycle management. You have to understand the stages of a product lifecycle from conception to ideation to launch to iteration to eventual decline. And this includes knowledge of product development, lifecycle methodologies like, uh, you know, agile, scrum, lead. 
then you really need to be adept at market research and analysis. And this is the ability to conduct and interpret market research, competitive analysis, customer feedback. And this skill is extremely vital for identifying trends in the market, understanding the pain points of your users and recognizing opportunities in the market. Then you have data analysis and metrics. And so proficiency in data analysis is critical. You should be able to set, manage, and track uh, important metrics like user engagement, conversion rates, uh, you know, uh, retention curves, cohort analysis, uh, to just make sure that you're making data-driven decisions and you're actually understanding how users are using your product. Then number fourth skill that you need is technical knowledge. Uh, while you don't have to be deeply technical, you really have to understand the principles of software development practices. And this is to ensure that you understand the technology um, behind the product, but also you're able to communicate effectively with the engineers. Then you have, uh, on number five, you have product management skills, right? Skills in planning, scheduling, resource allocation, risk management are critical to be a successful product manager. And you should be adept at to using tools like Jira, Asana, uh, or Trello to keep your projects on track. Then you have, on number six, you have user experience design, which is if you understand the principles of good user interfaces and design practices, your products will be always better. So understanding these design principles, prototyping, uh, you know, uh, creating uh, wireframes is going to be very critical for getting initial feedback from the user and how your product will eventually look like. On number seven, you have financial acumen. So basic financial skills like budgeting, forecasting, financial modeling, uh, what the pricing is going to be, how much money we can actually generate is going to be extremely important to get the money from the executives to back your product. On number eight, you have business strategy and modeling. So now you have to articulate business strategies and models of how to go to market, what the marketing strategy is going to be, how you're going to beat uh, the competition, how you're going to uh, evolve over the next 12 to 18 months. All of this are included in business strategies and your ability to create presentations to articulate your strategy clearly will be critical. On number nine, we have a very critical one, which is regulatory and legal knowledge, especially when you're in industries like healthcare, in insurance, in financial services. Understanding the legal constraints, understanding the regulations is important because think about this, if you launch a product that does not comply with the regulations, you won't be allowed to launch. So as a product manager, you need to understand, have a deeper understanding of the regulatory environment around you so that your product complies with the law. And finally, you need to be adept at technical writing and documentation, which is skills in writing clear, concise product requirements, specifications, and documentation, which is effective for effective communication uh, with the stakeholders and the development team. If you manage to master all these 10 hard skills, you are automatically 80% done at being an effective product manager. Now we know what hard skills are required, but at the same side, we have to master uh, several soft skills to be 100% effective at our job. And, and the soft skills are equally important in helping us do our job better. So I've compiled a list of around 10 uh, soft skills that are required by any product manager to be successful in their job. Number one is communication skills. Of course, you'll be talking to a lot of stakeholders. So communicating your point of view, communicating your strategy is going to be critical. If you have good communication skills, you will spend less time in convincing people and more time doing work. So improve your communication skills, be an effective um, you know, communicator of information in a very precise way that actually helps people get on your side. Then you need to have leadership and influencing skills. You can't lead teams without influencing people. And this will include rallying, uh, getting people to rally behind your product vision, uh, making sure that everyone is on the same page, everyone is improving, everyone understands the point of view, the goals that we're trying to hit, and they support you. So your leadership skills are going to be very critical. Then it's all about empathy. 
Uh, and, and when you're working in teams, there will be grievances. There will be a lot of problems. People, um, you know, will miss deadlines. Uh, people will have problems delivering. You need to have empathy, uh, and you need to understand their point of view, and manage everything not with sticks and stones, but by understanding and finding solutions that work for you all. Then uh, the fourth soft skill that you need to have is problem solving skill, right? Uh, as a product manager, you're solving problems on a daily basis. Those problems are internal, those problems are stakeholder related, those problems are customer related. And so you need to have a very critical thinking framework when it comes to problem solving. Uh, and you need to be consistently on your feet uh, and ready to face any problem that is thrown at your way. Then, number fifth soft skill that you need is stakeholder management. Uh, as a product manager, you get to deal with a lot of different stakeholders. And if you don't manage all of them properly, eventually someone will be a roadblock. Uh, your stakeholders might include the business team, the design team, the engineering team, uh, the finance team. So managing all those relationships, keeping everyone happy, Give, getting your point across, getting people to you know understand your vision, you understand their point of view, managing these stakeholder relationships is going to be critical. Then you need to be adaptable and flexible. Uh, there will be a lot of times when in the middle of the projects you might get new information that uh, completely negates the hypothesis that you've been working on. So you really have to be flexible for any unforeseen challenges that come your way. You need to adapt to those changes as quickly as possible. It happens during developmental cycles as well, but for example, you launch a new product and suddenly there's a new change in regulations as so well. You need to adapt and you need to be flexible enough to adapt to those new changes. Uh, then the seventh soft skill that you need to have is team collaboration. It's all about team uh, working together to build a product. It's not one man show. So how do you bring the team together? How do you collaborate? How do you make sure everyone has the plan uh, right up on their screen? How you're managing these those Jira boards to ensure everyone is on the same page, everyone knows what they what they have to do, and everyone is able to collaborate very effectively and this is a soft skill that is going to take you way ahead because at the end of the day it's all about the team then uh number eight is strategic thinking and this is a soft skill that um, you need to have a business acumen for it. you need to sit down you need to strategize multiple different options have a plan a plan b plan c plan d and if you if your strategic thinking is excellent then yeah, automatically you're able to mitigate a lot of risks that you face along the way of building a product because the building a product can get really messy especially when you start missing deadlines when the workload gets a lot when someone gets sick so you have to be strategic about all of these things this also includes launching the product right so how do you launch a product in a market that helps you win the market share and helps you beat the competition it all requires formulation of strategy that you need to be really good at then ninth is time management and organizational skills of course building a product you don't have unlimited time you have very limited time you have deadlines you have uh, money being spent and how you manage your time and how you organize your team to fulfill those deadlines is going to be critical. Uh, people love working slow, people love comfort. So how do you rally them up? How do you ensure that you know they uh, fulfill their tasks on time, they're following deadlines, um, they are organized and they're not you know behaving in a chaotic manner. So having those organizational skills, critical. And finally, resilience and stress management. There's going to be a lot of stress. There's a lot. There's going to be a lot of people that will tell you no. You have to convince them otherwise. Uh, there will be a lot of times when you're stuck on a problem that you're unable to solve. How you uh, show persistence and how you manage stress in those environments is going to be critical for your success. Because think about this: you have a million users. Your servers are breaking. Um, you know, you launched a new feature that just broke down. How do you manage the stress from it? How do you recover from it? So all these soft skills uh, they come from the character that you build over time. So if you're able to, you know, master all these ten soft skills, not only you'll become a better uh, person with powerful character but you're also be become excellent at, at your job and this is one of the reasons why a lot of PMs progress over to become CEOs because these are all the soft skills that a CEO must have or great CEOs have uh, and we have seen how successful they are. 
So there you have it guys, a blueprint and a roadmap for breaking into product management. I know we touched upon the skills in this video, but remember that this is step zero. You have to master this before you move on to the next steps. I know we did not cover how to build your resume, uh, you know, what sort of internships you should apply to, uh, what sort of jobs you should apply to, what sort of companies you should seek out. But if you want me to make a video on that as well, let me know in the comments below and I would love to make a new video, maybe next week or a week after. But in this video we mastered, we covered uh, the, the hard skills and the soft skills that are required to be extremely effective in your job as a product management. And if you master all these skills, breaking into product management and also uh, becoming an extremely effective product management becomes extremely easy if you like the content like this video comment with what you thought about the skills discussed in this video and share this with your friends and i hope to see you all in my next video thank you